Let's go over a few basics of what classical conditioning um, is when we discuss the classical conditioning paradigm. The paradigm is made up of four parts. We've got the unconditioned response, the conditioned stimulus, the conditioned response, and the unconditioned stimulus. Some things that you want to try to remember when you're breaking um, down an example of classical conditioning into these four parts is keep in mind when something is unconditioned, that means that it is unlearned. If you think back to Pavlov's example of his dogs, um, which were salivating to the sound of, uh, or were salivating when he brought food to them, keep in mind nobody had to teach those dogs to salivate. Uh, he presented them the food and the salivation automatically happened. That was unlearned. Um, when we use an example of the, a child going to the doctor's office and getting a shot and then the um, child um, is upset and fearful anytime they see somebody in scrubs, well it just so happened that the person who gave the shot was wearing scrubs. In that example, the unconditioned stimulus was the shot, um, the child unconditionally responded with pain. Nobody had to teach that child to respond in pain. He was presented with something uh, painful, being the shot, and he responded with pain. Uh, the conditioned stimulus you want to keep in mind is something that's always neutral. That means that um, when the, the person or organism is presented with the conditioned stimulus before conditioning takes place, there really is no conditioned response. Um, in the example of Pavlov's example, the conditioned stimulus was the tone. Had we played that tone for the dogs before conditioning took place, the dogs would have had no response at all. Same thing with the child. If the child had never gotten a shot before um, and we showed the child a person in scrubs, there would be no response. The person in scrubs would not elicit um, a fear response where after conditioning uh, has taken place, the conditioned response in Pavlov's example, of course, was salivation, and in the um, child's example would be um, showing a fear response to the person in scrubs.